Welcome to Glamorous by Selena. Today we'll be doing a simple cut crease using Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette. First, I start using my favorite shadow to use, Saddle by MAC. I use that for my crease. Um, I'm doing a cut crease, so the method is a little bit different than any other eye technique. So I'm just making sure that I cover both of my creases with saddle eyeshadow. The next layer of eyeshadow I use is Max Deep Damson. I take the same eyeshadow and just go over both eyes one more time just to make sure everything is even. Next I take, with my Sigma E39 Buff and Blend Brush, I apply Makeup Forever's Powder Blush Eyeshadow number 58 and I apply it above on top of my Deep Damson. Even though I am applying this on top of Deep Damson, it will not take away from the color of my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use my Sephora Angle Brush and apply Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Caffeine into my crease to create the cut crease. Now I'm taking a larger brush and applying Caffeine onto my eyelid to fill in the space that I created. As I'm applying the product, I'm making sure that I take my brush and fill in any spots I may see that are not filled with the product and just making sure that everything is even. Now I take my Sigma blending brush and apply deep dance into the corner of my eyes. I want to create ombre effect. So I just apply just a little bit, just paying attention to how much of the product I'm using and the effect I'm trying to create. To provide my eyeshadow with a base, um, I apply, this is actually something that I've, I've used for years. It is by Maybelline. It's a, like a 24 hour eyeshadow, but it's actually liquid. So I like to use it a lot when I'm using colors, shiny colors, anything that I need a lift, I like to use it. So this one in particular, uh, it's a pink metallic -y color and it's great to use as a base under colors like this. Now it's time for color. So now I am using the Zoya eyeshadow from the Saharan by Jovia's Place and just making sure that I'm using a closed brush. When I say closed, I mean that the bristles of the brush are more tight together. This will allow the product to stay in one place and also to provide the eye with more product. So I'm just making sure that I follow the crease and making sure everything is within the line and making sure that it does not take away from the ombre effect that I created with the deep damson in the corner of my eye. Now I am taking my Sigma E30 pencil brush and just applying Max Pink Venus to the corner of my eyes. Please note that this is an optional step. You do not have to add this color to the corner of your eyes. You can just keep it as is, or if you want a little bit more dramatic, you can add this pink Venus or any type of pink eyeshadow that you may find or that you may have. Now time for lashes. So I'm taking these Broadway lashes, holding down my natural eyelash, making sure that I get my strip lash as close to my natural lash line as possible. This is how it looks the most natural. And also sometimes I do apply mascara, uh, but today I just wanted to just do the, the lash.
Now it's time to prep my face. So first, of course, I prep my face using Milk's Primer. After prepping my face, I prepare my under eye with some concealer. This one is the Age Rewind um, Concealer Dark Circle Remover and it's by Maybelline. I just take my sponge and just blend it out, making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be and making, making sure there's no creases, no lines, etc. To set my eyes, I'm using Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder and just making sure that I put it on top of the concealer that I, I applied. This step I usually do before I apply my foundation and I'm just applying powder foundation. This one is Kat Von D's Deep 72. This product I'm so excited about. This is Fenty Beauty's Matchstick and this one is in truffle and I'm just using it just to go under my eyes, a little bit on my cheeks because sometimes my cheek does not have enough coverage from the foundation and just making sure that everything is on one skin tone and everything looks smooth and flawless. I'm using a triangular sponge by MAC and these are pretty much pretty affordable they come in a pack of I think about 30 for 12 bucks and I'm just going over my entire face just using the sponge to make sure all the lines are filled making sure any spots that I've missed are filled there is extra product on the sponge so it does allow me to use that extra product to make sure that everything is on my face evenly Now I'm taking that same powder foundation, Kat Von D's Deep 72, and just applying it all over my face just to soften my foundation. Baking is so important, so I'm just taking my translucent powder by Laura Mercier and just setting the, the matchstick concealer that I use by Fenty Beauty. While my under eye is baking, I take this time to do my contour. My favorite one, as you all know, is Max Film Noir. Usually by the time I'm done my contour, that has given my under eye enough time to set. So I just take my brush and just fill in underneath my eyes. I take a smaller brush, this one is by Sigma. I will give you the name in the description box. And I just use it just to get the inner corners on my eye and anything that the brush cannot get to.
I really enjoy using shadow shields, especially when I'm doing my bottom lashes because the hair on my bottom lashes are very fine. And the shadow shields have a white background, which allows my bottom lashes to stick out, therefore making it easier for me to apply mascara and make sure that there's no residue that may fall underneath my eye. And it's also very good for them to dry because sometimes you find yourself looking down, looking up, and then sometimes that smudges. So I just use the shadow shields underneath there for about two or three minutes. I'm now applying Max Plum Lip Liner on my lips um, as a base for my long lasting lip color. Now I am just filling in the rest of my lip and eventually I will take another lip liner by MAC and that one would be Boldly Bare and I'm just applying it on top of the plum. It will give me a really, really nice neutral tan for my skin tone. Of course, the infamous Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This one is the Oil Setting Spray. And I like to make sure that my face settles with it and everything is in place. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and like.